Hi, so exploring the empowerment point on the Future Work Redesigned Compass. And I've talked about what the definitions of empowerment, autonomy, delegation and trust are on Monday. And yesterday I talked about why empowerment is so important to avoid leaders becoming bottlenecks. And often when I sit in front of a leadership team um, and I talk about providing employees with empowerment, decision-making rights and autonomy to um, be self-directed, to have the freedom to be self-directed, I can see in their eyes this, it's like the rabbit in the headlights, oh my God, there's anarchy about to happen and I'm going to lose control and my employees can't make every decision. Then we start the conversation about the waterline principle. And the waterline principle was initiated by Bill Gore at WL Gore and Associates. And in a nutshell, the principle is, if you think of a ship on the waterline and you're going to make a decision, if you're shooting above the waterline, it's probably okay. We might make a hole in the side of the ship, but we can fix it and we won't sink. If you're about to make a decision and you feel, you, you feel you're shooting below the waterline, don't do it. That's the point at which you get another opinion or escalate or ask someone, uh, ask the boss, ask the leader about that decision before you shoot a hole in the side of the ship and it sinks. Now that waterline principle is really powerful because it gives the employee parameters or principles or guardrails, if you like, around which to, which to operate. So it gives the employee a sense of safety and also the leader a sense that we will avoid risk. And you can give examples to employees of what's above the line and what's below the line. And depending on an employee's experience and expertise, and maybe even tenure, you can move the position of the waterline. So you'd probably move it down, given the more experience and expertise the employee has, so they're more able to make decisions. And you can also use that principle about what employees have to come to you as a leader for. If it's above the waterline, don't bother me. Just get on and do it. If it's an issue, um, if it's an issue that's below the waterline, like we're about to sink, then I do need to know about it. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.